I try to keep everything in the frame for this, but there's sometimes that it may not. My lipo pack for my, oh wow, that's actually puffed as well. Uh, I basically made a lipo pack for my, my transmitter, my spectrum. Well, one of the cells, let's see which one. This cell right here, the puffed one, the one that looks all deformed, is not keeping a charge, it's not charging up, so time to make a new one. I've ordered a new China Hobby Line battery. I'm gonna turn this a little. These uh, may say 70C, but it's a 4S 1870C. I really don't like the 1870Cs. I like the China Hobby Line 1500 100C batteries. Uh, I flew one yesterday. Got over nine minutes just cruising around. So things you're gonna need: uh, soldering iron, a good soldering iron. Uh, I'm gonna start off saying if you don't know lipos, if you don't know how they work, <laughs> do not try this. This is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. You're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut everything off. Soldering iron to unsolder some stuff. Wire cutters to possibly cut some stuff. Uh, I have a couple of different types of flux. I don't know where my other one is at the moment, but hopefully we won't need it. Last time I didn't. <clears throat> um, so best way to get to it. Uh, this is a 4S battery, and I'm going to make two 2S batteries out of it. Right now, I'm just worried about getting one going, so I can first, I want to check the voltage. Uh, almost fully charged, good. I will say straight out, do not buy these batteries, they're junk. Uh, and even on the eBay, it says it's a U.S. seller, but it comes from China. If it says U.S. seller, never believe it. It even said it was these were going to come out of Kent, Washington. So, remove this little guy. This is a balance lead protector. And start cutting away the shielding, the clear part, but gently. If you poke a battery, if you poke a lipo, you're going to pay for it. The only reason I'm doing this is because I've done this several times. I know what I'm doing. That's why I figured I would show others how to do this. All this crap off. See, all this clear stuff. Toss that because when we're done, we are going to wrap it in. Wow, where to go? Uh, here we go. Gorilla tape. Black gorilla tape. Okay, so just continue working your way down to the cells themselves. You're gonna have to do quite a bit of cutting to get to things and you're gonna have to be very careful because you're gonna be right up against the cells. So just continue making your way around, just getting all the, anything covering the cells off so you can get to the cells themselves. I'm actually gonna order, I've already ordered uh, one. I'm gonna change my order and get two China Hobby Line 100C batteries. I love those batteries. Uh, Mac, uh, Bardwell did a video, Joshua Bardwell did a video on the Max Amps uh, 1300C true, no, 1300 milliamp hour true 1700 battery, true 175C battery and it is actually the best battery he ever tested he said so if all these thin batteries would actually start 100% committing to their C ratings and not lying not making it up us the consumers would maybe be able to get a $63 battery for a hell of a lot cheaper and now I'm just taking off this this wrapper that holds everything together because I won't be flying with this. This is going in my transmitter now. I'm making two 2S batteries, uh, 1800 milliamp, 
to go in my transmitter. So we get all this off. Just throw things away as you get it off, because trust me, you're not gonna be using it again. Pull all that back till you get to the connectors themselves. Make sure you don't damage any wires in the process. You also need a multimeter <clears throat> for this. Uh, I won't. I know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, that's gonna get cut. I'm splitting it. I'm just gonna pull that off instead of taking the risk of puncturing the battery. So, yeah, that it's just a little piece of foam that went on the very bottom. So now, okay, at this point, you can start pulling the two apart. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these two XT, this, uh, the XT60 leads. Uh, for your soldering iron, I always keep a bottle of water around. Uh, that's to keep the sponge wet. top and be careful so it doesn't fall off and possibly get into the soldering iron itself. I'm using a uh, AUE 937 plus. It's worked great for me for over two years so I don't see a problem exchanging it out. I don't see why I should. <clears throat> and I've got all these different tips for it as well. And I've got actually more than that. So we've cleaned the tip. Add some solder back on it. And now just lay it on there until the solder. This will be the hardest part probably of everything because you gotta you're working with possibly high temp solder. That's higher temp than what I'm using here. I'm gonna have to turn up my I'm running at 420 now and I'm up to 480 degrees Celsius. Let it get up to that temp. When you see smoke coming off the soldering iron, that's not lead, that's not, uh, I use rosin core solder. And as you can see, I need a refill. <laughs> that's how much I had, this thing was full. But building quads, rebuilding quads, chain, uh, repairing connections, uh, you go through solder quite quickly. The one thing I'm going to have to do for, basically when I'm done, I'll have these two wires left over. But I'll go through it when I'm done and just show what will have to be done to make both of these. Uh, you'll have to get a balance lead connector set, which is this, has all the little metal things, uh, the leads themselves, because making two 2S batteries. Okay, we are at 400 degrees. Let's try to keep this in frame. Get the solder on there, the iron on there, just hold it on there. And just let it heat up and at one point everything is going to become liquid and you can just pull that off now unsolder the balance lead and solder it back on same thing with the positive side Go. 
Now at this point, oh wait, you gotta unsolder these two. Some are actually welded together. Some lipos are actually welded together. Others like this one are uh, just soldered together. So now, put this back on there. Come on, get on there. Okay, now take a pair of snips. Gonna have to be careful with this part. This is what I choose to do. I mean, you can just completely remove. There we go. So now I've got a 2S battery. In good shape. This is, uh, no, 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 not this one. This is the one that I need a connector off of. Now put these on these two leads. I will say I am quite irritated at the moment that one of my, again, one of my batteries that I ordered from eBay died, but, oh, uh, shit, what do I expect? I bought these before I knew anything about China Hobby Line or anything like that. But at this point, we have taken a 4S battery, split it apart, made a 2S 1800 milliamp hour battery that will now fit in a spectrum transmitter. These batteries you can get for $50 on eBay for two of them. Uh, honestly, oh, no, not that one. That one, crap. With this one, what you're gonna have to do is run a red wire from here out and put it on a new balance lead, which, uh, just a red wire coming out from that, and then put on a 2S balance lead, which is this right here, because you gotta balance. When you charge lipos, you gotta balance them because they have individual cells, so if you just pour everything into pour all, pour all the voltage into this the two cells won't get charged evenly and if it's a 4s battery these are the batteries that i ordered again china hobby line 1500 1000 million power one shit 15100 c but with this what you're gonna have to do is solder a red wire to here crimp on one of the one of these little guys one of those tiny little metal things, crimp it on it in the wire, and then slide this on. I'll take this off first, and then slide this on, and you will have yourself two 2S batteries. What I do with this now, just to make sure it is first, like I said, you're gonna need a multimeter, because you wanna check the polarity of everything before you go plugging it into something, because if you plug it in, and the polarity is reversed, you're gonna fry it. So, positive, positive, uh, red for positive, black for negative, here and here, 8.29, come on now, stop bouncing around, 8.29 volts, I don't know if that can be seen, yep, 8.3, <laughs> so now, I'm even going to go ahead and finish this guy up. I just take some black Gorilla tape because it's some, um, it's basically a, a uh, it's a fiber tape, like duct tape. I just wrap it up so all the connections are safe from each other, won't touch each other. 
and nothing can touch them. And then I do the same thing this way. And this protects the battery. This protects those cells. I personally know what these are, but I do have a silver Sharpie that I'll write on here. These are 1800 milliamp hour 70C cells. So, what I will do here is put this guy out to the side. Whoops, wrong one. Hundred milliamp hour seventy C two S. So now I know exactly what battery this is. I know what battery I, I it's not gonna be put in anything other than my transmitter, but now 